Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm working on a 2005 Lexus ES330 and I gotta replace the lower control arms. But in this reel, I wanna just go over some things that I noticed it's not really on YouTube. So let me show you. Well, there's a motor mount right here that I had to remove, but in order to lift up the engine to remove this motor mount, I have to remove a motor mount on the passenger side on the top area of the engine and also loosen up the bolt on the front motor mount of the engine. So this is on the passenger side of the engine and this is what the motor mount looks like. So I had to remove this in order for the engine to lift up easily. But I also have to loosen up another bolt that's in the front motor mount. Let me show you. So I'm gonna guide you to the front motor mount. It's in the front area of the engine. And if you can see my hand, is right there where my finger's at. You see the bolt right there. I have to loosen up that bolt. You can see that I lifted it up. I didn't take it all the way out, but I gave it some extension so I can lift up the engine easily. I highly recommend remove this axle nut right here on both sides in order to loosen up the knuckle. But don't forget, you're gonna need a 12 point socket on this Lexus or the Toyota's uh, Camrys, which is a 30 metric socket and it's a 12 point. So most of us usually use a six point, but this one uses a 12 point. There's good videos out there in YouTube that pertain to the lower control arms on a Lexus ES330 around 2004, 2005 model, somewhere in that area right there. But what I noticed is that no one was talking about loosening up these top motor mounts, the one in the front of the engine and the one in the side of the engine on the passenger side before you remove the motor mounts. So I hope this video helped you out. See ya.